Late Thursday into Friday, there's a chance to see the moon go from this to this a blood moon caused by a rare total lunar eclipse. This York University astronomer calls the stellar moment special. Well, lunar eclipses are actually one of my favorite events. Uh, they're just so easy to see. You don't need a telescope, so you won't need this. Um, you don't need binoculars. You can go out with your friends and just have a look. And it's a chance for everyone to share in uh, a bit of celestial dynamics, a bit of astronomy, to learn something about the solar system, or just watch the Earth's shadow go across the moon. First, the moon enters the shadowy outer phase called the penumbra, then moves into the umbra, the darkest area. At totality, the sun, earth, moon are perfectly aligned, turning the moon red. The blood moon is the reddish orange color that we see that appears on the moon during totality. And this occurs for the same reason that our sunsets are red on Earth. The sunlight passes through our atmosphere, scatters away all those shorter wavelengths of blue light, and only the longer wavelengths of red light reach the moon and cause the moon to glow in this, in this sort of orangish red color. Gorgeous lunar eclipses like these are a little more rare, experts say. It not only depends on the path of the moon, but also where you live. This go around, some of the best views will be in North America. The next total lunar eclipse uh, will happen in a year, in March 2026, but then we won't see another one until 2029. Eclipse chaser Dr. Ralph Chu will be viewing the celestial event from his home observatory and taking advantage of winning best seat, even though he'll have to stay up late for it. You've got to be up between 2.30 and 3.30, roughly, to catch the real show. Anything before that and after that, it's not going to be very interesting. So you'll be up, right? Oh, yeah, I'll be up. And, and you, know, the, uh, you know, for any of the kids who are out on school break, you know, this is a perfect chance for you to stay up all night because that's what it's going to be. A fun-filled night that means more than astronomy to some. I think what's really special about these sorts of events is it connects us with so many different people from all different parts of the planet that we're realizing that we're all seeing the same sky, we're all seeing the same event uh, collectively together. And I think that uh, is a really special unifying feeling. The eclipse officially starts at 1157 on Thursday, and weather permitting, you'll be able to see totality around 2.30 a.m. Friday. That's when you'll have about an hour to look up at the sky and marvel at the blood moon in its best form. Brittany Blatt, CBC News, Toronto.